This Anglo-Indian desk of rosewood with lac engraved ivory and silver handles was crafted in the 1750s by an unknown maker. It was made in Vishakhapatnam on the Coromandel coast of East India, an important port along the historic trade route between Europe and the Far East. The furniture was made by artisans from the Kamsali caste who proved to be exceptionally good at copying Western forms, entirely foreign to their culture and way of life, from models and two-dimensional patterns provided from Europe. This desk belonged to Sir Thomas Rumbold, and it is important because of its connection to the East India Company. Sir Thomas was a British administrator who became very wealthy in the service of the company in India. He was also aide-de-camp to Major General Robert Clive, Clive of India as he was called, at the decisive Battle of Plassey on 23rd June 1757, where the East India Company defeated the Nawab of Bengal. The battle established the company's sphere of influence in Bengal and laid the foundations of the British Raj over India. Anglo-Indian ivory furniture was valued very highly by those officers of the East India Company who collected it. Displayed in prominent places back home in England, the furniture would have served as a tangible link to India and the exotic and precious materials would have attested to the status, power and wealth that could be gained from a career with the East India Company. Although the form is Western, the finely engraved, very delicate and sprightly floral decoration is Indian, drawing its inspiration from motifs in the Mughal style found on chintz fabrics, making it a truly hybrid object that belongs to the visual culture of both East and West. This desk is as illuminating as it is enigmatic. It tells so many stories, but it keeps just as many secrets.